new project let's go to architectural template click OK and now consider in this particular project I would like to create my pergola so let's go and see some of the detailed design or, or the detailed image of the pergola so now the first thing you will notice here is we have a base then we have four columns and then we have some horizontal beams in two directions all right now to start with let's go and select go to architecture tab go to component and select model in place now this I I'd like to consider it as a generic model so let's click on generic model click OK and let, let's name this as pagola and click OK now you can see we have we came out of the or we are inside right now in the model in place command now to start with the first thing I will you I'll create is I'll try to create the base now one thing you will notice here we don't have any dimension so we should at least try to approximate the value or the approximate the dimension here so let's consider for example this dimension for the base I'm going to take it as 5 meter and as the length and the width I'm going to take it as the 4 meter so to start with you can see we need to create this particular floor first so I'll start with the bottom part so I'll create a bottom solid base so for that I need extrusion select extrusion and then go for rectangle command and then create a rectangle let's set its length as 5000 or 5 meter and the width as 4000 or 4 meter next let me switch off this elevation point so let's go to VG visibility graphics and then switch off the elevation points click apply and then OK now you can see we have our length as 5000 millimeter or 5 meter and our width is 4000 millimeter or 4 meter once done click finish let's go to 3d view and let's consider it to be for example let's take it as 100 or 150 so let's go and make the extrusion as 100 all right let's make it 150 all right so now this is our base is created now next what I would like to do is I need to create this second platform on this part particular base so now if you see here if I zoom it this platform is coming a little bit outside so what I will do is let me consider this offset distance which it is coming out is as 50 mm or 5 centimeter so for that to create this second platform on this base we need to shift our plane again so for that let's go to create set pick a plane click OK and then this time we select this particular plane let's click on show to avoid the confusion so you can see the our plane is now shifted here now next let me go to the top view and then let's switch off the this particular uh, view and then let's go and set extrusion again and then this time instead of creating ever sketching it everything again what I will do is I will use the offset command or the pick line offset so let's select pick line and then go for the offset so let's take it as 50 so now you can see I can select all the edges one by one so one two three and then four and then click finish let's go to 3d view and then let's change its extrusion height to be let's suppose to be 50 mm again that's it and let's go and change it to consistent color so now you can see our base and the platform is now ready now to avoid the confusion what we can do is we can keep on changing the material so let's go and apply our wood material so let me select the first and the second one and let's go to material click on the material browser so for example let me select create a new material I'll rename it and I'll rename it as W1 and let's go to the asset browser and then from here let's go and select for the flooring so let's see what do we have for the flooring here so for flooring for the wood part we have this all all of this present so let's try to use flooring as oak so let's select it and click apply and then click OK let's go to realistic view and now you can see our base has been applied with the material now next once this is done now the second part is 
we need to start creating our columns so now to start with what I will do is I will create the base of the column first and then I will create this column here so now you will notice this column and its base should be uh, sitting on the platform so for that what we will do is let's go back to create again set pick a plane click OK and then select the top face okay let me go and select the hidden line and then you can click on show so the plane is shifted let's go to the top view and let's create this base so for that let's go to extrusion and now this time I would like to do some dimensioning so I'll select align dimension so the first dimension should be from the edge of the platform till the base of the column and similarly from the other side so let's suppose it should be around 400 this also should be 400 and now if if your text looks big we know we can go to the scale and then change it to let's suppose 1 is to 20 next let's dimension for our uh, base of the column so let's suppose it should be 500 and then select this edge and change it to 500 so now you can see our base okay I think the, our base is looks quite big so let's go and change it to 400 and this also to 400 so this should be always 400 from the edge so let's select this one and make it 400 and then select the top edge and make it 400 all right once done you can go and click finish go to 3d view now here you can see let's give the extrusion height so let's suppose it's going to be 150 all right so now this base is created now on the top of this now I'd like to create the column so to create the column let's go back create set pick a plane click OK and then set the plane on the top of this base next we can go and select extrusion again and this time I will take a offset so this is 400 by 400 and I would like to create my column of the dimension as 300 by 300 so it means this should be around 300 and 300 so let's see if it suits better so let's go and select pick line and use offset as 50 so 50 from this side 50 from here 50 from here and then 50 from here so now if you are going to measure this it will be exactly 300 so once this is done you can click on finish again go to 3d view I guess it's look a little bit thick so what I'll do is let me go back and change the size to let's delete this one and then let's try to keep it around 200 cross 200 so let's give the offset as 100 all right so click finish and then go to 3d view and let me give this height to 3000 all right so now this is our first column is ready now what I will do is before I start creating the second and the third and fourth column I will go and change its material so let's select the column and its base go to material and then use the wood so let's suppose I would like to use I'll let me create a new wood here so new material W2 and then go to material browser So let me go back to flooring and then we, let's see if we have some different type. So we can use a cork chorus, select it. Okay, now it doesn't look that good. So let's go to beach wood. Okay, apply and then click OK. Let's go and see the realistic view. Okay, it doesn't look that proper. So let me go and change it again. So from here, let me go and select from the wood option yeah so we can go and select this uh, birch select it and then apply and then click OK alright now once this is done the next step we can do is 
we can create the other columns using the mirror command. Now, before doing that, what I would like to do is, I would like to save my project. In order to save this uh, model in place component, first you need to go to click Finish Model, and then you can save it. So I can save it in my folder. And let's save it as Pergola. So let's save it Pergola 01 and save it. Now once your project is saved till here, you can select your model in place component, then click on edit in place again. And then let's go to the top view, select the base and the column and go and select the mirror option. So mirror draw axis. Let me change the visual style, select mirror draw axis. And then from the center, I will draw a mirror line. Now again, on the select these two, use draw axis and then use this vertical as the mirror line from the middle. 3D view and then click or let's go to realistic and you can see our column has been created. So let's click finish. Now next you can see the next is we would like to create this particular beams first. So we have two beams resting on these two columns. So for that what I'm going to do is let me go and create Okay, so this time this is 5 meter and this is 4 meter. So let's suppose I would like to start creating my beam from this location. So for that, let's select the model in place, edit in place, create, and then set, pick a plane, click OK. And then I'm going to choose this face as the plane. Let's go to the left view. Let me go and change it to shaded, extrusion again, and then let me draw this. So what I'm going to do is let me draw a reference line and from here I'll take a midpoint and then let's suppose it's going to be up to like 1800 and let's delete this main line and then create a little angle and then straight up. So let's make a little angle here of around 320 then 100 up and then up to the middle select this right side of the sketch and then use mirror and select these uh, two points as the mirror line. Once then click finish and change the thickness. So let's change the thickness to approximately around 50. Now you can see right now it is going outside. So what I will I'm going to do is I'll change the extrusion and to be minus 50. Once done click finish. Okay. All right. So it in place, let's go and assign the material to this also. So let's assign it W2. Now you can see this is our beam here. Now I would like to create my second beam. So to create a second beam, I would like to create a mirror. Now what happens when I select this beam and choose draw axis, you see it doesn't allow me to create a mirror. The reason being our plane is right now on this particular face. So for that, to create a mirror on this uh, horizontal way, we need to shift our plane again. So let's go to create, set, pick a plane, click OK, and select this top face. Now we select this beam and then mirror. And from the center, we can create a mirror line. Now the, the same two beams, I need to mirror it on this other side. So for that, let me select these two again. And this time, select mirror draw axis. And I'm going to choose the center from the base or from the platform. So just draw a base here. And then you can see we have created our second set of beam on the other side. And we can click on finish. And then let's save it. Once done, let's go select it again. Go to edit in place. Now you will see we need to put some other uh, beams on the different direction, on the second direction. So the same procedure. So let's go to create and then set, pick a plane, click OK. So now this time I can select this particular face. You can click on show to see the plane here. Let me go and change the visual style. All right. Now go to the front view. And this time I'm going to use extrusion again. So to mark the center point, I will take it this line as a center. And then starting from this 
midpoint here I'm going to draw a line and then a little bit up and then up to the center so let me delete this now once the one half is done you can select these two and make a mirror and then finish and this also should be minus 50 and the material should be W2 you can go to realistic view and you can see this part is the second uh, beam in the other direction is also created the uh, next option uh, next thing is we need to go and repeat this one so we have it's like one so we, we can create like a couple of them so now what I will do is let me go and set the work plane so go to create and then set a work plane pick a plane so I'll set it on this particular plane here go to the top view now since uh, we created this component using this as the this face as the reference we cannot do the array here so if you try to do the array you can see it will do the array only in this particular direction you cannot go to the other side so for that what we need to do is we can always make a copy so you can just select it copy for this let me go and change it to hidden line select the beam and then go for copy you can use multiple and then you will notice one thing that still you cannot do the copy here that's because here the check mark uh, the constraint is check mark so you can click on you can uncheck this constraint and then you can see let me go and for example I'll place it one here or you can use the mirror option and then specifically I can try to keep some more here and that's it. go to 3d view and then click finish and now you see your pergola has been ready now the only part remaining is the other side uh, other beam of the pergola which is on the uh, same direction as this one so I guess you can do this uh, as a practice and you can co complete this exercise for the pergola using model in place so this is how you can use model in place command to create complicated structures like a pergola thank you very much